folk chicken boy and flip the bird for a great America. I will fight for you. I will flip the bird for you. I will flip the bird for you. I'll flip the bird for those kids that left and went outside. What a great time for a idiot loser third party like myself to jump in the race and maybe win this damn thing. The Flip the Bird campaign had something that no other campaign in the history of time had. It had drama, it had excitement, it had sex. He's against spiders, he's pro boobs, he's obviously for the troops, and you know, yeah, wanting hookers and blow for all of them. Chicken Boy totally has it going on in the basement. On May 20th, uh, another contender entered the race. And he had a catchy name, Moose. Along with a catchy name, he had a catchy slogan, Ride the Moose. Moose, that far north character, um, you, know, you really don't see him a lot. Um, first, I thought the guy was clearly nocturnal, but that was just the drinking. Um, but he also seemed to be a well-rounded character. I was really excited. I mean, have you seen how fast Moose can run? Many much Moose. Yo. When I heard Moose was going to enter the race, I was like, great, another mullet for America. But nope. I decided to go full chicken boy. Once you go full chicken boy, you never come back. How dare this guy try to steal chicken boy's thunder? He threw his hat in the ring, I threw mine, and I went out there to kick his scrawny little ass. And that's, you know, politics is take no prisoners and tell no truth. You know what, Clint? This whole house of cards is built on a foundation of lies! Lies! It's cement, damn it! Right from your goddamn feet! Lies! You are one shit, Really? You know, Moose had his fun, he, he spread his little lies around and whatnot, and um, he just needs to go crawl into a corner and uh, never speak another word again. I shot the world and made Captain America my vice president. Nothing about the guy adds up. Fishy, I tell you. Fishy. On August 28th, the Moose struck back as he became the official nominee of the Far North Party in a very private convention. More importantly, he named his VP. A simple man, a humble man, a two-dimensional man, Joe Sortino III. I, I couldn't think of anybody else that I'd want standing behind me. You know, he'd have been the best VP since Geraldine Ferraro. This might be some real competition here, and I was going to have to lay off the crack on the campaign for this one. That's, that's for sure. I would like to point out that I am not a flashy, Hollywood kind of uh, candidate here, uh, you know, who relies on cheap tricks and, uh, oh, wait, excuse me a second. Don't, don't judge me. I don't rely on cheap tricks to grab your attention. Suddenly, Moose drops his October surprise bombshell, and that's not a sexual move. Apparently, an audio tape had been released of Chicken Boy saying it was okay for him to grab hens by the nuggets. When I heard that tape, I lost my lunch twice and I didn't even have lunch that day. It was from last week because it was just so vile, so disgusting. I don't even, no, no, it, it, it's it's bad. It was really, really bad. That could be any speech impaired idiot talking on that audio tape. Horrible little man. Jesus. No, you didn't get you. Oh, I grabbed the chickens by the nuggets. Eh? Nobody cares. It's just boring every time. You fucking people are buying this. Moose just lost it. He snapped. I'd expect more out of him, but I think he kind of let us all down. Set the political field back about 10 years, I think. This whole election was just damn brutal. I, I mean, I, I guess I'm sorry I exploded a guy. So, uh, thanks for nothing. Finish your drinks and get the hell out. Well, flip a bird for America in your face. There's only one thing better than winning, and that's almost winning. Sure, I'm still a loser, but I almost wasn't a loser. And by golly, that in a weird sort of back-ass way is winning in itself. Number one, USA!